Alright, what's going on guys? Six shot here, and dude, why do you hate your kid? My wife and I originally wanted three kids. We had one decided after fears that one was plenty. Though I love my son, I now A, know myself well enough, and B, know the challenges of parenting well enough to say that having a kid is probably my biggest life regret. My wife agrees. This is such a sad tweet to me, man. Because how can you bring a kid in this world? Your job as a parent is to take care and make this kid know and feel, genuinely feel that they are loved and taken care of. But to completely do the opposite of that and say, yeah, that kid's probably my life's biggest regret. Like, that is just terrible, man. And it really does just sad me, man. Because you have a lot of people who would love to be parents and they would make swell parents as well. But they're just physically unable to have kids so they will never get to experience that opportunity. But then you have people like this who do have kids, but just straight up kick them to the curb and say yeah you're my life's biggest regret deal with it and it's like i get it right being a parent is a hard thing to do it's a difficult job arguably the most difficult on this planet but what did the kid do bro it's not the kid's fault it's a hard job so do your job as a parent and take care of it and what really does just irk me is that when someone asks the dad in question about like the situation going on if he apologized to his kid anything along those lines his response was this i bet money that most people regret having kids but just after the fact or pretend otherwise because it is taboo you as a parent can't even muster up an apology to your own child you just double down on the fact and try and blame it on everyone else and saying oh you're crazy you're the bad parents not me i'm not the bad parent like are you serious man you are a grown man doing this stuff and this guy's openly doubled down on this cake multiple times, but this time his justification is that Twitter doesn't know all the context behind the situation. Now riddle me this, dog. What context is so important that it completely changes everyone's mind on the situation? Because unless your kid is like a serial killer or something like that, why would you as a parent stop loving your kid? Like if they're a serial killer, okay, yeah, I get that. But what context is so important that it is so critical and crucial that it could justify as a, a parent giving up on their kid? There's very little pieces that could change the puzzle entirely and apparently at one point in time the kid ended up seeing the tweet and the kid's response was something along the lines of like it's okay dad i forgive you i get it raising a kid's hard but i know you still love me i'm saying that allegedly because that is from the dad quoting the kid there's actually no evidence the kid said that themselves other than the dad quoting his kid so for all we know the dad could just straight up be lying i mean it's been shown multiple times that both the wife and father you know the mom and the dad have no interest in the kid so it wouldn't surprise me if that's a lie at this point it really is just sad to see man because in my opinion as a parent you're supposed to love your kid more than anything on this planet you're supposed to cherish them you get what i mean so for you just to completely both as a mom and dad throw away all interest towards your kid and just treat them like utter garbage and just say yeah you're our life's biggest regret because there's a lot of bad things you do in life that you would take back if you could i'm sure but you want to take back your kid of all things like come on man that is so trashy but uh yeah i'm going to call it here dude there's very little things a kid can do to justify a parent no longer loving their own child so unless your kid really did do something that bad and that's what that context is i think you owe your kid a much needed apology but uh yeah that's about it it's been sick shot guys later